Didn't take long at all. Even cut through the asphalt? Yeah. Now we're gonna cut through a piece of granite. Just used the Milwaukee 9 inch battery saw, cutoff saw. Uh, just gonna go over it really quick. You have a quick connect. They have a portable pressure tank that you build up the pressure manually that feeds through the water system, or you can hook it up to a hose. Nice thing about this is you can have a full pressure to your garden hose and it doesn't come out until it depresses in here, just like an air chuck on your air system or even hydraulics, depending on how you want to look at it. So I am going to look for a metal one because I, I know I'm, I'm going to break this. Uh, other nice thing is, is they have an on off, off, on for the water system that comes up through here, trenches the blade as you saw in the video just before. Uh, you have a fail safety switch here. So you got a, you got this little tab hanging down. You got to flip it forward so it's in line, and then that's your safety. If you don't, obviously it doesn't work. Uh, for what we did in the video and a few other test cuts, we just used a quarter of a battery. And this is also the HD12 high output battery for the, the saw. You can use the smaller ones out there, but it's not going to last as long. Uh, obviously, I haven't used it yet. That was the first time using it to say how long it's going to last. But for me, I like it a lot better. I had a partner gas saw, 14 inch, that, you know, at the time it was good. These weren't out. It wasn't bad, but it started to hurt my <clears throat> hurt my back, and now this is a heck of a lot easier on my back. Um, and we just do the small stuff with it, just cutting off the edges of pavers, quick cuts or little jobs that we don't need to bring out a bigger saw on. It's just nice to have. Uh, and then you don't have to do the gas power disco of trying to start one. And... We own this. This isn't any kind of partnership with Milwaukee. We own this. Um, I did look at Makita Tools has one. DeWalt has one. DeWalt actually kind of looks like this one, but let's not go there. I looked on wall, and I don't know. Price-wise, this one was a lot better than the others. And I did talk to a... Uh, blade distributor at the Equip Expo down in Louisville, Kentucky. And I asked him, you know, has anyone used any of these? What do they like? What do they don't like? Because I didn't, you know, I want to know what I'm purchasing. And he kind of said, you know, if you're looking at the Milwaukee, it's kind of a good one to get. But if you can find one that is in stock, get it. That was at the time. And I found this one on uh, Acme Tool, and they carry all the brand of Milwaukee, and they ship it out to you. I got a deal on this where it was the saw, the diamond blade, the cutoff abrasive blade, two batteries, and a charger. And it was under $1,000. The DeWalt, the one place I d uh, did see the DeWalt was at a... Uh, equipment retail and uh, rental place 
and they had it up on the top shelf and you had to ask to to look at it you know this isn't top shelf stuff but they, that's how they were acting and that was listed just for the saw no battery at 13 so i don't know why it was so much at the time but i went on acme tools and i got this saw for under a thousand dollars um it's really not bad uh, I have a couple of jobs that I'm going to need it on. So I'm kind of glad I got it. And my back is going to be so much happier not having to lift that 14 inch saw. The other thing is, is this has rapid stop on it. So that blade will stop within seconds. Um, that was another thing I didn't like with the big 14 inch saw is it would just kind of spin and slowly spin. Uh, stop which I kind of didn't like because For me if my back spasmed, you know, and you're trying to put it down Well, then you got to be trying to be careful that that you don't hit something with it and also you Your back spasming what you what do you want to do? You want to drop everything and stop But that's just me uh, if you've listened to me ramble this long uh, There's gonna be other videos of us using this um, We're gonna use it on pavers like you saw granite chunks like that other natural stone uh, going up against like concrete driveways walkways asphalt edging just to cut it nice and flush so that we can lay pavers and stone up against it flush that's what we're really going to be using it for uh, anything bigger you know there's diff there's bigger saws coming out so if need be we'll go to that but Again, if we're doing that much that we need to, we'll we'll upgrade to a bigger saw. But right now, this saw what works for us. Um, another thing is, is the table saws are come are really nice. A lot more control for doing precise cuts. That's on the list as well. But thanks for watching. I know I rambled on, but you know, kind of wanted to go through it all, just so that if you're looking at it too, you kind of have an idea of what you're looking at, and maybe even show off a little bit that hey, you know how the the safety switch works how the water works but thank you take it easy